This Throwback Thursday, we look at the transformation of Colfax Avenue over the last 25 years, where seediness grew into an established business district around the Bluebird Theater. It's all good. We're chilling. We're chilling. Yeah, like you're act really touristy. Like, oh my God, Colfax. <laughs> 1994, I was just coming into existence. I was born February 1994, so. Hello everyone, thanks for joining us. I like the hairstyles and the outfits. In the 1930s, kids flocked to the Bluebird Theater on Colfax to see the Westerns. Look at that sign. Then it became a porn theater, then an empty building. Now with the help of city incentives, it's being restored. It's crazy, man, to see how far Colfax has come along, being a Denver native, even to see the Bluebird, the sign, and how beat up it was, and the fixing up that they did to that place inside, it looks a lot better than what it did. I'm so happy that it's no longer a porn theater. There's actual windows. <laughs> now it's like a cool little spot for music venues. And now to think that it's labeled as the Bluebird District, a lot of people come in here and they ask like, oh, what area are we in? And it's cool to be able to say, oh, this is the Bluebird District. This whole area, man, has just come such a long way Thinking back to even when I was a kid, uh, you know, Colfax was necessarily not really an area in which you just wanted to hang out on because we knew what was going on on Colfax, so we wanted to stay so far away from this street. It had character then, it, it, it will always have character here on Colfax, uh, but it's great to really see how far along this area has come. Colfax Nine News produced the documentary on Colfax in 1994. There is a link to watch the whole thing with the incomparable Gary Shapiro in the next section on 9news.com.